Watch a video clip showing how cement is produced. Click on the correct descriptions showing the production of cement. The limestone is mined from a nearby quarry. It is transported to the factory and undergoes a number of processes. They include crushing, grinding, blended and stored in a silo. The grinded limestone is then conditioned, preheated, and then fed into a rotating kiln. The kiln is a long tube slightly inclined, around 4 degrees to the horizontal, and heated to about 1400 degrees Celsius. Simultaneously, shale or iron rich clay is also crushed, dried, ground, blended, conditioned, and preheated before being fed into the rotating kiln. In the kiln, limestone decomposes to give calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. The calcium oxide combines with the clay or shale to produce a compound known as clinker. Clinker is added with approximately 5% gypsum and then ground to produce cement. Well done! An important step in the production of cement is the action of heat on limestone, calcium carbonate, which produces calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to describe the action of heat on salts. We are going to investigate the action of heat on various carbonates. Click on the photograph of each of the salts to play the video clip. Key in the answers into the appropriate spaces in the table based on the video clip. Click check when you are done. Key in the answers into the appropriate spaces in the table based on the video clip. Click check when you are done.
key in the answers into the appropriate spaces in the table based on the video clip. Click check when you are done. Key in the answers into the appropriate spaces in the table based on the video clip. Click check when you are done. Key in the answers into the appropriate spaces in the table based on the video clip. Click check when you are done. Key in the answers into the appropriate spaces in the table based on the video clip. Click check when you are done. Key in the answers into the appropriate spaces in the table based on the video clip. Click check when you are done. Key in the answers into the appropriate spaces in the table based on the video clip. Click check when you are done.
Why do you think the gas given off is bubbled through lime water? Lime water is used as a test for carbon dioxide gas. From the table that you have just completed, what can you conclude about the action of heat on the metal carbonates? The metal carbonates except sodium and potassium carbonates break down when heated to give out carbon dioxide. Complete the general word and balanced chemical equations shown that may be used to represent the breakdown of the metal carbonates. Click check when you have finished. Next, we are going to investigate the action of heat on various metal nitrates. Click on the photograph of each of the salts to play the video clip. Key in the answers into the appropriate spaces in the table based on the video clip. Click check when you are done. Key in the answers into the appropriate spaces in the table based on the video clip. Click check when you are done. Key in the answers into the appropriate spaces in the table based on the video clip. Click check when you are done. Key in the answers into the appropriate spaces in the table based on the video clip. Click check when you are done.
key in the answers into the appropriate spaces in the table based on the video clip. Click check when you are done. Key in the answers into the appropriate spaces in the table based on the video clip. Click check when you are done. Key in the answers into the appropriate spaces in the table based on the video clip. Click check when you are done. What do you think the glowing splinter and the moist blue litmus paper were used for? If oxygen was present, the glowing splinter would be lighted up. The moist blue litmus paper was used to find out if the gas was acidic. From the table that you have just completed, what can you conclude about the action of heat on sodium and potassium nitrates? Both the nitrates break down when heated to give out oxygen. Complete the word and balanced chemical equations shown that may be used to represent the breakdown of the sodium nitrate and potassium nitrate. Click check when you have finished. Let us play. In this lesson, we have learned that metal carbonates of potassium and sodium are stable to heat. They do not dissociate when heated. Metal carbonates of calcium, magnesium, zinc, lead 2, and copper 2 dissociate to form metal oxides and carbon dioxide when heated. Metal nitrates of potassium and sodium dissociate to form metal nitrites and oxygen gas when heated. Metal nitrates of calcium, magnesium, zinc, lead 2, and copper 2 dissociate to form metal oxides, oxygen, 
and nitrogen dioxide when heated. Study the table shown. The metals in the left column are arranged according to their positions in the electrochemical series. The action of heat on the carbonates of potassium, sodium, calcium, magnesium, zinc and lead are according to the experiments done in this lesson. Can you predict the action of heat on aluminium carbonate, iron 3 carbonate and silver carbonate based on their positions in the electrochemical series? In groups of three, plan the procedure to carry out activities to test your predictions. Include in your planning safety measures and what to observe. Before carrying out the activities, let your teacher check and approve your planned procedure. Present your findings to the class.